Hello students, welcome to my channel. This is Shantanu from RT Crafty. Today we will discuss three topics. That is Kailashnath Temple of Ellora, Madhubani painting and worldly painting. These three topics come under the unit three of painting syllabus of class 10 CBSE. So let's start. In my previous video, we discussed about Bodhisattva Padmapani of Ajanta Kiv and Lion Capital of Sarnath. In this video, we will discuss about the Kailashnath Temple of Ellora, Madhubani painting and Worli painting. Kailashnath Temple is the largest of the rock-cut Hindu temples at the Ellora Caves. Dynasty Rastakutas King Krishna I period 756 to 773 CE medium basalt rock location Ellora Maharashtra Description The Kailashnath temple is the largest of the rock cut Hindu temples at the Ellora Caves, Aurangabad district, Maharashtra, India. The Kailasnath Temple, Cave 16, is the largest of the 34 Buddhist, Jain, and Hindu cave temples and are known collectively as the Ellora Caves. The Kailasnath Temple is notable for its vertical excavation. That is, carvers started at the top of the original rock and excavated downward. The Kailasnath temple architecture is different from the earlier style prevalent in the Deccan region. The southern influence on the temple architecture can be attributed to the involvement of Chalukya and Pallava artist in its construction. There are five detached shrines on the temple premises. Three of these are dedicated to the river goddesses Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati. There are two Dvajastambhams pillars with flagstaff at the courtyard. A notable sculpture is that the Ravana attempting to lift Mount Kailasha. These are the two pictures of Kailasnath Temple, Cave number 16, Ellora, Maharashtra. These are the another two views of Kailasnath Temple. Cave number 16, Ellora, Maharashtra. Next topic, Madhubani painting. Madhubani painting is one of the many famous Indian art forms. As it is practiced in the Mithila region of Bihar and Nepal, it is called Mithila or Madhubani art often characterized by complex geometrical patterns these paintings are known for representing ritual content for particular occasions including festivals religious rituals etc history and evolution madhubani paintings originated in the mithila region of bihar some of the Initial references to the Madhubani painting 
can be found in the Hindu epic Ramayana when King Janaka, Sita's father, asked his painters to create Madhubani paintings for his daughter's wedding. The knowledge was passed down from generation to generation and the paintings began to adorn the houses of the region. The women of the village practiced these paintings on the walls of their respective homes. Their paintings often illustrated their thoughts, hopes and dreams. Over time, Madhubani paintings became a part of festivities and special events like weddings. The traditional base of plastered mud walls was soon replaced by handmade paper, cloth and canvas. Since the paintings have been confined to a limited geographical range, the themes as well as the styles are more or less the same. style and designs. Madhubani paintings were initially practiced by different sects of people and hence the paintings were categorized into five different styles such as Tantric, Kobar, Bharni, Godna and Kachni. But today these five different styles have been merged by contemporary artists. The themes used in these paintings often revolve around Hindu deities like Krishna, Rama, Lakshmi, Shiva, Durga and Saraswati. Also heavenly bodies like the sun and the moon often form the centerpiece of Madhubani painting. Painting materials and tools. These paintings are also known for their simplicity, for the brush and colors used are often derived from natural sources. While the paintings are largely made using powdered rice colors derived from turmeric, pollen, pigments, indigo, various flowers, sandalwood, and leaves of various plants and trees etc. Also, many natural sources are combined and processed to obtain the desired colors. The colors are often prepared by the artists themselves. Notable Madhuvani Artists some of the notable Madhuvani artists are Sita Devi, Ganga Devi, Mahasundari Devi, Bharti Dayal and Jagadamba Devi. These are the two Madhubani paintings. These are the two Madhubani paintings. Worldly painting. The great worldly folk painting is a form of tribal art mainly created by tribal people in the northern region of the Sayadri range which comprises cities like Johar, Palghar, Dahanu, Talasari, Mukhada and Bikramgarh or Palghar district in India. This worldly tribal painting art form first originated in Maharashtra, which is still practiced frequently. It is believed to be one of the oldest kinds of art forms in history. Worldly art is a folk art of Maharashtra, is a set of basic geometric shapes, a circle, a triangle and a square 
history and origin these paintings seem to be nothing more than worldly figures drawn in whites on thick dark walls to the untrained eyes but a closer inspection shows that worldly is far more than meets the eye too many worldly art story may seem like just a simple art form of india still the worldly tribes located in mountains and coastal regions in and around maharashtra and gujarat's border are worldly painting states the origin of worldly art can be traced back to around 3000 bc and seems to have an enigmatic appeal to it even though this tribal art style dates back to the 10th century ad the worldly paintings form was not known until the 1970s although a primary way of life and a significant food source for the tribe was farming they had great respect for nature and wildlife for the resources they provided for life on various occasions this type of painting was mainly centered around the concept of mother nature and its elements quite often multiple parts of nature are the focal points further accentuated in these paintings the fascinating fact about worldly artists is that they used their clay huts as the backdrop for their masterpieces much like how ancient people utilized their cave walls as canvases designs and styles these rudimentary wall paintings use a set of basic geometric shapes a circle a triangle and a square these shapes are symbolic of different elements of nature the circle and the triangle come from their observations of nature the circle represents the sun and the moon while the triangle depicts mountains and conical trees in contrast the square renders to be a human invention indicating a sacred enclosure or a piece of land male gods are unusual among the worldly and are frequently related to spirits that have taken human shape The central motif in the ritual painting is surrounded by scenes portraying hunting, fishing, farming and trees and animals. Festivals and dances are common scenes depicting in ritual paintings. People and animals are represented by two inverse triangles joined at their tips. the upper triangle depicts the torso and the lower triangle the pelvis one of the central aspects depicted in many worldly paintings is the tarpa dance the tarpa a trumpet like instrument is played in turns by different village men men and women entwine their hands and move in a circle around the tarpa player the dancers then follow him turning and moving as he turns never turning their backs to the tarpa materials used the ritual paintings are usually created on the inside walls of village huts the walls are made of a mixture of 
branches art and red brick that make a red ochre background for the paintings the worldly only paint with a white pigment made from a mixture of rice flour and water with gum as a binder a bamboo stick is chewed at the end to give it the texture of paint brass walls are painted only to mark special occasions such as weddings festivals harvests they make it with a sense that it can be seen by future generations these are the free worldly paintings thanks for watching please like and subscribe and if there is any doubt or query please put a note at the comment box below see you in the next video bye